Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. I literally never know what day it is. Um, but yeah. Welcome to my channel, you guys. Natasha's Beauty Studio. If you are new, I am Natasha, the owner of Natasha's Beauty Studio, owner and stylist. I um, am going to attempt to start vlogging weekly on my channel. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time now, but it's just like, y'all, editing, editing will make you just wanna <laughs> just throw it all away. Like the editing process of videos is just so time consuming. Like I just don't be having time and patience for it. Um, I'm already very active on my social medias, my Instagram the most. That's the um, one that I definitely make sure that I'm always sharing content on, actively on, because Instagram is literally how I built my business from the ground up. So I'm very active on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram if you don't already, Natasha's Beauty Studio. Um, I do show a lot of um, in the behind the scenes of me doing hair and all that good stuff but I definitely want to start making YouTube's because I'm obsessed low-key with watching vlogs on YouTube like I will sit and watch random people's vlogs all day like I don't know I'm just nosy I like to know what people are doing all day so I'm like that will be fun like I want to try to do vlogs it's just We'll see how it goes. So, um, the new year, I, I'm, I'm going to start doing vlogs. I can't promise y'all it's going to be consistent, but I will definitely try to be um, as consistent as possible. Um, so, right now, I'm on my way to a house call today. Um, I don't typically do house calls, um, but considering this client's situation, I accommodated her and I'm going to be doing her locks, her messy locks at her house. So um, it should be exciting. Um, I am on my way to get coffee right now, which is literally on the other side of where I need to be going to drive to this client's house but there is never any Panera bread in my route like this is ridiculous there's always a Dunkin Donuts there's always a Starbucks but I like Panera bread so I literally have to drive out of my way to go to Panera to get my breakfast and my coffee Starbucks coffee is not strong enough. Dunkin' Donuts coffee is not strong enough. So, Panera it is. Even though Panera is low-key expensive. But, it's so good though. It's so good. Um, so, I'm going to take you guys um, along with me for my appointment today. I just have her. The appointment is at 10.30 a.m. Right now it is 9.03 a.m. So I'm on good timing. Um, I put her address in on the, um, the Google Maps. And it says she's about 20 minutes out. So I should be right on time. I'm a very big stickler. Stickler, however you say that. Is that how you say it? On time management. Even when I have clients that are late, like you will, <laughs> I try not to have an attitude, but I have an attitude, especially if you're a new client and you're late. That is my biggest pet peeve. Don't book me if you're going to be late. I hate people that are late. Unless you have like a really good, you know, reasoning for why you're late. But some people literally have no legit reason. Like I have heard it all. And I'm just like, girl, don't book me again please because to me I look at it as if you're a new client I just pass my Bay's dog make sure he there I'm just playing I don't got those problems but to me um if you are a new client and you are late the first time 
and you don't have a legitimate reason, like you got in a car accident, um, your baby's sick, something like that, and you just come to me 30 minutes late as if nothing happened, you're gonna get, you're either gonna get blocked or you're gonna get a serious attitude from me. And I know that's not professional, I'm working on that, but I feel as if, if you don't care about my time, why should I care about yours? So that's definitely something um, I'm very strict on is being on time to places. It doesn't even have to deal with my business. I'm literally, if I tell somebody I'm gonna be there at a certain time, that's the time I'm gonna be there. So I'm very big on time. So always be on time. What I don't know what this person's like. Somebody's beeping their horn, and I don't know who they're beeping at. <sighs> but yeah, but, um, I'm going to um, try to get as much footage as possible because um, it is a new client, and we are at her house. So I'm not too sure how she is about video recording her house or at her house. I don't know. I'm usually at the salon, so it's usually no issues as far as recording so i'm gonna try to get as much content as possible and i hope you guys enjoy <laughs> Coffee is just like the strongest for me and I'm not a morning person at all like, I, I honestly struggle right now I feel like in the morning I just make a bunch of mistakes and I'm just like not fully all the way there at nine o'clock <laughs> you would think I would be a morning person by now but no so it's nine 21 it was kind of a wait in Panera so it's 921 y'all like my case love it um I'm just gonna try to eat a little bit I get like a little um breakfast sandwich it has bacon spinach tomatoes scrambled eggs cheese and some chipotle sauce Okay. I'm about to put my client's address in MapQuest and I'm about to be on my way towards her house. of doing the hair of the beautiful fiance of NBA basketball player Fred Van Vliet. I hope I said that right. He plays for the Toronto Raptors and the Toronto Raptors have actually moved to Tampa temporarily. So they're actually going to be playing in Tampa temporarily. Um, so excited about that. Uh, shout out to the Toronto Raptors. Always wanted to visit Canada also. Um, she found me on Instagram. Yes, y'all. 
she found me on Instagram. Hashtags, baby. Hashtags. And this is why I tell all of my business friends, I tell anybody that is looking to start a business, you have to hashtag the hell out of your photos. Because I'm telling you, them hashtags work. Literally half of my clientele, especially in the beginning, everybody says, oh yeah, I found you off of Instagram. I just typed in the hashtag. I found you off of Instagram. I literally, like I always say, and I'm always going to say, I literally grew my business off of Instagram. So she found me off of Instagram, booked an appointment with me. Um, at first, she was supposed to come to the salon, um, but it was some issues because um, uh, she has toddlers, so it was issues with the babysitter, um, stuff like that. So she uh, asked if I wanted, to, if I was okay to do a house call, and I was like, <laughs> I typically don't normally do house calls. Um, and then at first, she told me who she was. She told me she was the fiance of this basketball player and I was just like mm, you know Tampa Tampa is kind of crazy so I was just like mm, I don't know but as we were talking um, she seemed legit and uh, she wrote me off of Instagram so she showed me her uh, Instagram page so I knew she was legit saw the pictures of her and her family with him and all that type of stuff um, she gave me her address I pulled up it was exactly she said she was and it was amazing it was definitely good vibes the family is such a humble family so funny it was just it was a great vibe she was very very humble and I was I definitely had I had a great time it was so fun she loved her hair she got messy locks and you already know messy locks is a whole vibe honey so it was definitely a pleasure and I was so excited I was actually kind of nervous not necessarily nervous because I was doing a celebrity's fiance's hair. More so like, I need to hold this camera right. I'm for sure going to buy something that um, I could put up on my car since I'm going to start vlogging now because I can't be holding this phone like this. Period. Um, but yeah, I was more nervous going to someone's house like I'm very like iffy on that like especially during COVID but I was masked up the whole time she already advised me that they they have to take COVID tests like dang near every day just because um you know the career of what her fiance does so they were all good I was masked up the whole time she was masked up um, but it was just more so I was just like, oh my gosh, going to someone's house. This was actually my first house call. So I was just like, oh snaps. I didn't know what to bring. I had a whole bunch of stuff and I was just like, what if I forget something? And then I'm just so used to being in my salon. I just feel like I know where everything's at. The lighting and it's just like everything's, you know, where it needs to be. And also chair wise, like I need a chair that goes up and down. So I was just like, all those were just coming into part, but everything worked out. She loved it. Um, I was, I didn't get a lot of footage because um, I don't know. I was just so in the moment. So I really didn't get a lot of footage like I should have got, but that's fine. I got a few pictures and um, hopefully she hits me up again but yeah y'all your girl did an NBA basketball players fiance's hair and she found me off of Instagram Instagram is lit um, but today is a new day I'm on my way to I'm not gonna lie y'all I'm not gonna lie I'm on my way to Panera Bread again. Yeah, Panera Bread again. I know, this is starting to be a problem. And the bad part about it is there's a Panera Bread in the same plaza as my salon. Yeah, that's kind of sad. But 
yeah, this is this is it for this week. Panera Bread, I'm just not. Panera Bread takes all of my damn money, bruh. And it was a time where like I was trying to not really go to Panera like that because they were always messing up my order and I just had a lot of issues with this certain location that I'm going to that's by my salon. So I was just like, you know what? They're not gonna get none of my money. But I always end up coming back. It's like an ex-boyfriend you can't get rid of. You leave them and come right back. Yeah. But um, I have a appointment in about, I would say, an hour and a half. She is getting not list. And she's been to me before. She's a sweetheart. Love, 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 love the vibe. So she's getting not list today. I'm going to try to get as much footage as possible on that. Um, you know what I love? This client, as soon as she booked her appointment, even the last appointment, she pays in full. As soon as she books the appointment, she pays the whole price of the appointment and she puts her tip in. Can we say the real MVP? I appreciate when my clients do that. That just shows me that they trust me, they know I'm gonna slay them, and they trust my work. And I'm just so grateful for clients like that. Like, that is what's up. Like, as soon as you book, just paid in full and already tips i love it i appreciate you shout out to you baby girl love 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 so um she's gonna get some not list and yeah i'm gonna take you guys on the ride to see that oh i also have to unload a bunch of stuff like from when i did the house call yesterday i took like my little rolling bag that i got in cosmetology school i filled that up with everything because i just didn't want to forget nothing even though I forgot my ring light, which really was the reason why I didn't get that much footage is because I didn't have my ring light. Y'all, I need to get a traveling ring light because baby, the ring lights be coming through on the photos. Are you gonna let me through or not? Nah? So yeah, I have to unload my bag from yesterday when I did the um, house call. Then also I got some new um, products and inventory. I usually stock up and buy most of my products online because I just hate going back and forth to the beauty supply. So I have some products that um, I'm going to unload from my um, bag also. So I'll be showing you guys some products and yeah, you'll see me unload everything. <laughs> She is getting a deep condition treatment. So one of my services is just a good deep condition treatment under the steamer. So um, I shampoo your hair, I give you a deep conditioner and you sit under the steamer for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, then I rinse you out and give you an all around trim. So I do get a lot of bookings 
for a deep condition treatment, which is good because you guys definitely want to keep up on your trims, especially if you're natural. I'm telling y'all, keep up with your trims. If you want long hair, you got to let that dead hair go, sis. You cannot keep holding on to that dead hair. Get your trims, get your deep condition treatments. Your hair will love it. Actually, I need to give myself a deep condition treatment. Probably, when is my next off day? I ended up taking someone on my off day. This I am typically give myself Sundays off, um, but I ended up taking somebody for Sunday for some box braids, um, which that, that just comes with the territory. When you're an entrepreneur and you work for yourself, Half of the time, you will end up giving up some of your off days. Um, so I'm like, let me go ahead and get this, this these coins because I am trying to save up and um, get my credit right for some moves I'm trying to do this year. So I'm probably going to do it. I think I'm off Tuesday. Yeah. But yeah, y'all, yesterday's appointment was vibes love 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 she loved her hair which was the knotless braids they came out super super cute i personally love knotless i used to not be a fan of knotless i don't i don't know like it was just like i'm still a lover of classic box braids so when knotless came out i'm like that's just so pointless because i just feel like if your hair grows really fast it's gonna always look like you need to get a retouch. And I'm just like, with the standard classic box braids, you could rock those for a cool minute without getting a retouch. But the more I do not list, the more I start to love them. Because it was to a point where I really hated doing not list. Because the whole feed-in process, I don't do feed-in hairstyles, so it was just feeling too much as if I was like doing a thousand feed-ins because you're, you're constantly having to feed in the hair. So at one point I was not doing knotless. I wasn't even offering, I took it off my, my um, services for like, I would say like two months. Then I would constantly be getting DMs like, do you do knotless, do you do knotless? I'm like, I do, but I don't feel like doing them. So then I ended up putting back, I end up putting Knotless back on my services. And now I don't mind doing them. <laughs> yeah, I'm really bipolar like that, y'all. It's just, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying, but yeah, y'all, I am about to, um, while I'm waiting for my next client, um, I'm going to prep for tomorrow's client. So I have a um, another <clears throat> returning client tomorrow morning that's getting passion twists and she's getting burgundy passion twists and I just love burgundy passion twists y'all it's just so pretty so um, I'm gonna go ahead and prep her hair while I'm waiting for this client right now my number one thing y'all is work smarter not harder so I will prep hair a day before two days before whatever i just make sure if i have the time to prep the hair because that's just one less thing you got to worry about so i'm really big on prepping hair i love to be ready and stay ready so that's what i'm gonna do also i was thinking about it because this video is already pushing about 25 to 30 minutes and i am uploading from my outdated iphone so that's going to take hella long to upload this to YouTube. So my videos will most likely be just showing you three clients. Um, I don't take pictures and videos of every single client because just like my client earlier, um, I have a, not a lot, but I have a good amount of older clients. And you know, mamas, they don't be, they don't want to be on camera. Uh, something's in my eye. Mamas do not want to be on camera. I know my mama hates pictures. Even when I do my mom's hair, she's like, don't take a picture of me. I'm like, ma, it's business. 
So yeah, I don't take a picture of every one of my clients. Um, and I typically don't take pictures and videos of deep condition treatments, but the last time I posted a deep condition treatment, which is a client that's coming in about 30 minutes, that video got like 2K likes on TikTok and Instagram within like 10 minutes. It just, it just went viral, a low key viral. About 2K, 3K likes, literally, within like 10 minutes of me posting it. I posted it on a Reels on Instagram, and um, then I posted it on TikTok, and they both just went crazy. So I'm like, <laughs> I guess that's what y'all like to see. Y'all like to see people get trims and deep conditions. So, um, yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty weird, because I wasn't even going to take those videos of me doing her hair because sometimes I'm really just not in the mood to even play around with recording because that does take time out of me um, in my appointment, taking time out to make sure the ring light is uh, on the right angle, make sure you could see it, and it's just like too much. So I was even going to record that day, and I just randomly put whatever footage I had together and made a little reels and TikTok, and it went crazy. So that's crazy. But um, yeah, so I don't take pictures and videos of every client I get. So I'm going to post um, whatever footage I have from three clients, make a video, post that video. If you guys want to see more, comment down below you want to see more. And I definitely will see if I could um, add a little bit more in it. but. Like I told you, editing is a lot. It's a lot. So I don't want this video to be like 45 minutes. That's that's out. So I am going to keep it 20 to 30 minutes max because it's just going to take forever to upload. And also, I know yesterday, uh, making videos takes a lot of energy. <laughs> So y'all better subscribe. Y'all need to comment, like, all that stuff. Cause this is a lot, honey. Also, if you guys did not see the video of my um, salon tour, it is in my videos. I did make a tour of the suite. If you wanna see what my suite looks like, it is on my older videos. So make sure you like and check that out. Also, follow me on Instagram, Natasha's Beauty Studio, TikTok, Natasha's Beauty Studio, and Facebook, Natasha's Beauty Studio. And get at me, y'all. Book me. Thank you guys for watching and see y'all at the next vlog. So you must be my soul.